Hello. So, that has happened a lot of things since uh, last time I've been doing one of these sit down and talk videos. So, right now I've been in New Zealand for four months. And yeah, the big thing that's happened to me is I've been moved, moved from Wellington to Auckland. Um, it's not intentional, but it has to had to happen. So I want to talk a bit about that because that's something that can happen when you're an au pair, something you can't control. But yeah, um, so I call this situation. So I was living with this family in Wellington. I was really enjoying that because they could talk Danish and that helped uh, me with getting used to New Zealand and getting used to talking English outside of the house. But still have this space in New Zealand where I could talk Danish and don't think about how to communicate in another, another language, language, how to communicate in another language. So I really enjoyed that and it was a really nice family to live with. But after two weeks, the 6th of uh, August, they told me due to some personal problems I will not go in depth with. They couldn't afford me anymore. And that is not something you want to hear when you are living with a good family and it's everything is going fine. That they can't afford you anymore. It's sort of like, whoa, okay. What am I going to do now? Because in my head, I was I had three months at this family and then I had to find a new family. Oh. But this was like, hey, you need to find a new family now because we can't afford you anymore. Yeah, that's not great and I would not recommend this, but it's nothing we can do anything about it. It was not because the relationship between me and the, the parents and me and the kids was bad. It's nothing like that. It was just because they couldn't afford me anymore. That also meant that I had four weeks a lift of work at that family. Yeah, and those four weeks was really stressful for me because after the two first week, I had talked with two families and they didn't want me. They chose another pair. And then I had only two weeks left to find out what to do. And I was like, <gasps> I'm in a new country. I don't know. I don't have any contacts. I can't live with this family. And I don't have another family. <laughs> And I was really stressed out, but luckily I found another family here in Auckland. But yeah, those four weeks was really stressful for me because the relationship with the parents sort of went wrong. I gave up to get to know them and become their friend because I was like, I'm leaving soon. And they were in a lot of problems, obviously. So that also meant like they didn't have like time to get to know me and I was like sort of a burden it wasn't really great to be in the family the last uh, two weeks uh, I really enjoyed being out with my friends but because I've really built up a good uh, community with the, all the other pairs and I really like my friends but when I was at home I wasn't the happy me which was kind of annoying so in the end I was also glad to leave the family but that was because of the situation we got into. But that's something that can happen when you are living with another family, they can get into personal problems that also affect you. Yeah, and that's not something you think about before you're going, just thinking, yes, this is going to be great, it's a great family, stuff like that. But there can be a downside to it. And I don't say this is normal at all, uh, but it can happen. So I had to stop working for the family in Wellington at 2nd of September and the new family I found could only have me from 1st of October so I had all September off which meant that I was traveling on the South Island as you have seen in some of my videos and I really enjoyed that to have a whole month to just see stuff. I feel like I've seen New Zealand now. I have still have a lot more to see but it's been good to actually have seen something. As an au pair we have this a lot of chat groups so I was just writing in this group hey I'm traveling in this period of time can anybody join does anybody wants to join me in some of the days and 
my now friend told me that she wanted to join and uh, we met up two times before we went traveling together uh, before we spent t 10 days with 24 hours together and that was pretty fun and that's not something I will do in Denmark just write in a random group hey I'm traveling anyone wants to join me but that's sort of the culture down here and I really enjoy that that you can just it's not just travel but it's also like day to day just write hey I'm doing this anyone wants to join me and people wants to join you or going in in town and party the people is joining and that's that's really great and uh, that's a great way to make friends I'm in Auckland uh, and how is that? Uh, it's pretty good actually it's been very easy transition to live with this family they have been really open and been really clear about some stuff and I I also have experience with living with a new family and I knew what I had to work on to make it work better for me and what I needed from the family um, so because I have that experience and they have the experience with other pairs it's just worked and it was easy to to look at them and get into their habits and their routine and we have a we have a lot of fun in this family so, so I really enjoy living here in Auckland that also means that I have a new room to show you guys that is what I will do now welcome to my room everyone so this is me and let me show you around I actually have a mirror this time which is pretty great so this is my bed it's big it's lovely and this is where the magic is happening when I'm reading a fantasy book yeah yeah not that exciting no I know so let's move on and just place that book down yeah so besides my bed I have my desk which is a pretty great up upgrade from last uh, room I can use my computer here or I can work on my bullet journal or be creative uh, which is pretty great to have a disc to sit on and I also made it personal I've made these stars and I have uh, put some printed some pictures out and made these hearts and I have some stones from my New Zealand trip and then I also have uh, another picture of my friends from down here and this is me having fun with the camera <laughs> yeah so in here let me show you all these jackets yeah pretty exciting huh yeah so in the other cabinet let me show you what great stuff I have in here I have some traveling books and socks and all my shoes I bought five pair of shoes so up here I have some goodies from Denmark some chocolate and some candy that is really yummy no, no, no. and yeah I just walked out of my closet with the jackets and here we see my clothes and you can't have a drawer system without Marie Kondo look at this oh wow <laughs> yeah I know I'm stupid so this is my room and that was my room tour so goodbye for now yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed the situation I talked about and yeah because that's something that can happen when you are no pair but yeah just take it with a positive mind now you have two two room tours to see how au pairs live I've definitely made this room more personal but what I do miss about this first room is definitely the view yeah that's it bye bye <laughs>